Hello everyone in this video let us start uh, learning uh, groovy So if you have been following my channel or if you are new to my channel I'm sure you know about uh, the purpose and objective of uh, my YouTube channel I make lot of videos on uh, Jira Atlassian tools and uh, I talk about things that you can do with Jira and I personally love working on Jira I have been using it for uh, more than a decade uh, and uh, I think it is uh, really a good tool and last year I made lot of videos and I'm still making lot of videos on uh, Scriptner so when you are using Scriptner uh, suite of uh, apps for Jira or maybe Confluence or maybe maybe Bitbucket you have to write your scripts in Groovy and Groovy is of course uh, a programming language and i thought maybe it is uh, a good idea to also start a new series on uh, just focused on groovy language so that is what i am going to uh, do now in the next uh, few weeks or maybe few months i will be making lot of videos on uh, groovy i will talk about of course uh, you know fundamentals and basics of uh, groovy and if you want to learn groovy i mean I, i mean you don't have to use jira you don't have to use uh, any atlassian tools you can still watch my videos i will focus just purely on uh, groovy in between i might uh, uh, talk about few things that will probably help you with uh, automating things in jira but uh, this video series in this playlist called mastering groovy will be 100% focused on groovy only so in case you are trying to learn groovy feel free to uh, watch my uh, videos on this playlist called mastering groovy and i will uh, uh, probably never talk about other aspects of uh, my uh, youtube channel where i of course talk quite a lot about jira so let us start talking about groovy today so groovy as you probably already know i guess it is nothing but uh, a programming language and uh, by the way if you want to learn groovy or if you are thinking of learning groovy in 2020 or maybe 2021 or 2025 uh, I, i'm not really sure about 2025 but uh, in 2020 groovy can definitely be useful um you can use groovy for uh, uh, i mean it has a lot of applications because it is uh, based on java uh, and uh, there is of course a difference when you compare it with uh, java and we'll probably talk about it in uh, you know we'll we'll probably talk about it in bits and pieces in this video and also in uh, future videos but uh, uh, when you talk about uh, automating or uh, scripting in uh, in uh, jenkins or maybe if you are thinking of doing some automation in jira you can definitely uh, learn uh, groovy and of course groovy has uh, other uh, applications and other uh, use uses so we'll definitely talk about those things uh, uh, in uh, future videos so just to give you some background groovy came into existence in uh, 2003 so it is almost 17 years ago like right now we are in 2020 and uh, uh groovy is not really very old language if you compared with uh, other languages like java of course but uh, uh it came into existence 17 years ago and if you want to know more about groovy the best place to know about groovy uh is uh, the official website and that is groovy hyphen lang.org so if you come to this website you can learn a lot about uh, groovy you have in you, you have instructions about uh, how to install groovy how to uh, get started with it you can uh, install groovy on windows linux mac and you can uh, learn about uh, the capabilities of groovy so if you look at this page you have some information about uh, you know what is groovy and what are the features but uh, I want to give you a very quick introduction in this video. So, if you are trying to compare Groovy with uh, other languages, 
for example, Java. I mean, I'll, I'll use Java because, uh, I mean, I'll refer to Java because Groovy is Java-like. But as compared to Groovy, uh, as compared to Java, uh, Groovy is uh, optionally type. So what does it mean? Well, if you are uh, uh, comparing Groovy with Java, just to give you an explanation in uh, the most simplest manner, uh, you don't have to worry about declaring your variables. For example, if you are, uh, uh, let us say, uh, writing a code, you can just use a statement like this, like define a is equal to one to three. So Groovy will know that uh, a is uh, one to three and that is integer. But if you say a is equal to or b is equal to one to three point five, it will treat it as a float, uh, float data type but you can also do something like this define c is equal to i am uh, i'm a string so when you have to write a code uh you can just use variables easily you don't have to worry about uh, their data types and that is really uh that can be useful i mean of course uh, there are pros and cons but uh, when you compare the code when you compare uh, the number of lines groovy can do the same thing in maybe few lines of code and uh, uh, this is of course a very uh, this is of course a very simple example where i want to talk about what exactly is optionally typed languages also at the same time groovy is a, a dynamic programming language where uh, j again just to just to give you an example data type you know that we talked about uh, in uh, this example when you are using this variable a is equal to one to three, uh, at the runtime, Groovy will determine how how to deal with this particular variable, which is of course a, and a is uh, assigned a value which is integer. So, just to give you one more example in Java, in Java, let us say you have to use uh, a number, an integer. You have to first declare. So if you are, let us say, uh, using uh, int i, which is of course nothing but a variable that you're declaring, which is of type int, when you have to use it, uh, I mean, before you before you, you can even use it, you have to uh, define the data type, which is of course integer. But in Groovy, you can just use uh, i is equal to 10. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you can of course start uh, looking at the documentation uh, where of course you can uh, worry about if you have to worry about uh, you know all the aspects of Groovy it really depends uh, what exactly are you trying to achieve by learning Groovy but uh, my purpose of uh, creating these videos is uh, just to explain you Groovy enough so that you can start using it from day one and when I say day one I literally mean day one I'll probably talk about uh, how to install Groovy on uh, different uh, operating systems like Windows Linux or maybe Mac but uh, if you want to let us say you have Groovy already installed and, and of course it is not difficult to install uh, Groovy let us say if you have Groovy installed what you can do you can uh, uh, use Groovy shell or a Groovy console and uh, when you have a Groovy shell with you you can uh, start playing with it. For example, if you talk about uh, the example that we discussed, so if you do something like this, define i is equal to one to three. Uh, again, you don't have to worry about uh, the data type of uh, in of i. And of course, at runtime, Groovy will determine that. Of course, i is assigned a value of one to three which is an integer so it will treat it as an integer and you can also do something like this i define i is equal to one to three plus one and of course it is a one to four but you can also do something like this 1.5 so it will not really complain about adding integer to float uh, you can also do something like this define uh, f is equal to uh, ravi and you can also uh, add two strings or not really add but concatenate two strings like maybe by simply doing uh, this a very simple example but uh, uh, the whole point here is that if you're writing code it is much more simpler as a programmer to just 
focus on the logic without worrying about uh, you know the declaration of those uh, data types and uh, this is something that uh, we will continue discussing in uh, other videos where i will be uh, talking of course about uh, what else you can do with groovy and how it is different from uh, java so all i am trying to say today is that if you are trying to learn uh, groovy and if you are very much focused on doing things uh, that will really help you for getting things done then you can definitely uh, watch my videos and uh, you can hopefully uh, learn uh, things wonderful things that you can do with this uh, nice language called groovy so i hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today thank you very much